So I'll show you um, some skills that I want to cover with Miss Coco and the Great Outdoors, but I want to start indoors. So our loose leash walking, what we're looking for is for her to just be pinned right by our side. So what I'm going to do here, give her a click and a treat for hanging out right here in this zone. Then I'm going to make a little semicircle, click or treat, another little semicircle, click or treat, semicircle, click or treat. Always treating her from this area as well, so she knows that that's where we're looking for her to be. Then I'm going to take an individual pace. So she went over to the wrong side, that's fine. Um, not fine, but no click, no treat is good information for her. Um, always stick with one side. If um, you want her to be, I would like to have dogs on the right hand side because folks will be passing um, on the left hand side with bicycles and um, you know, runners and such if you're on a trail. And so I always like to have dogs on the right hand side as well as be a buffer between you and oncoming traffic or folks coming the opposite direction. So it could be dog, you, other people and their dog. Um, so that you can just be that buffer so they don't have to be so concerned about uh, folks or other dogs coming their way. So it's, it's totally up to you though. You can, you can stick her wherever you like. I have her on the right hand side, but just stick with one side and make it more easy uh, for her moving forward so she's not confused. So I'm gonna take one individual pace. Wait for my little Coco. Two paces. One, two. Wrong side. That's okay. I'm going to switch directions on her. One, two. She's really having a hard time. Coco. One, two. Good. One, two. So you'll notice here, <laughs> one of the beauties of working with her inside is that I can pin myself up against something so she can't go on my left hand side and get some successful repetitions out of her. Anything we need to do to get her to be successful. Um, so that's fine and dandy. I'm going to turn around here. Go, go. So another thing to take note of is that um, we've got slack in our leash. So we always want to keep slack in the leash when we're taking our little cutie on a walk. It'll help her to stay relaxed so she doesn't have to be stressed out about anything. Um, It'll increase her anxiety and stress if she's got tension in the leash. So, if you do get tension in the leash, then what I like to do is just change directions on her. Give it an opportunity to come up from behind you. And um, really, we, we never want that. That's what we're really fighting against is tension in the leash. So let's give her another shot. Go, go. So what we're looking to do is increase the amount of paces, however she's having a, a tough time with one pace, then uh, we'll just stick with one. That's fine and dandy. Go, go. So this has been one of our um, biggest challenges. Really, uh, it's actually been one of her toughest days indoors. She's actually done a fine job indoors. It's when we get outside that she has um, a bit more of a challenge. So uh, I'll video some different tactics and strategies to work with in uh, the great outdoors. But it's actually what we've covered before, which is just name games and relax on a mat. And she's made a lot of strides in doing better outside. So let's bring her into the, the great outdoors. We'll um, get started and make our next video.